creating your own trifold brochure doesn't have to be tricky. You can design a quick and easy brochure template using Affinity Publisher in no time at all. Hi, I'm Grace, and in this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a trifold brochure in Affinity Publisher. And as a bonus, I'll also include a free downloadable template for both Publisher and Adobe InDesign 2. So as well as access to Affinity Publisher, for this tutorial, you'll also need to download a few fonts and images to use on your brochure design. And you can find the links for these in the details below the video. So when you're ready, let's get started. So first up, open Publisher and go to File, New. Select Print from the options along the top of the window and set the page width to 11 inches and page height to 8.5 inches and increase the number of pages to two. From the margins options, set a margin width of 0.375 inches for all sides of the page. And you can also add a bleed width of 0.125 inches and then go ahead and click create. To mark out the folds in our brochure template, make sure that the rulers are visible. So you can go to view and show rulers, double click on master A in the pages panel pull out a guide from the left-hand ruler to 3.66 inches, then pull out a second guide to 7.33 inches. And to make sure we place content centrally on each section of the trifold brochure, we can also add margin lines either side of each fold line. So for that, pull out a guide to 3.29 inches, another one to 4.05 inches, one to 6.95 inches, and a final guide to 7.69 inches. Go to the swatches panel and choose add global color from the drop down menu at the top right corner. Name the swatch off white and set the levels below to cyan three, magenta one, yellow four and key zero. Then click add and repeat to create two more CMYK swatches. Navy is cyan 100 magenta 89, yellow 39, and key 32. And finally, orange, which is cyan 3, magenta 82, yellow 97, and key 0. Double click on page 1 in the Pages panel to go back to the pages of your document. And from there, go to the Layers panel and click on the Add Layer button at the bottom right of the panel and rename this layer as Background. Repeat to create a second layer, which we're going to call images and color. And also create a third layer and name this text. Then select both the text and images and color layers and lock them by clicking the padlock icon at top right. OK, so now we have all of the basics in place. We can get started with adding creative elements to our brochure, including color, photos and typography. Working on the background layer, select the rectangle tool from the tools panel and drag across the whole of page one, extending the edges up to the bleed. From the swatches panel, set the fill color to off-white. Use the rectangle tool to create a second shape on page one across the central and right-hand section of the trifold brochure and set the fill of this to orange. Switch to the picture frame rectangle tool and create a frame across the bottom half of page one across the left hand and central section. Go to file place, choose an image such as this one and click open. Double click inside the picture frame to select the image directly and scale it until you're happy with the position. Select the picture frame and edit copy and edit paste moving the copy up to the top right corner of the brochure. Then use File Place to replace the image with a different one, such as this one. Use the rectangle tool to create a shape across the bottom of the central section, setting the fill to navy. From the colour panel, reduce the opacity to 80%. Then select the navy shape and copy and paste it, moving it directly above the original and switch the fill colour of this to orange. In the layers panel, choose multiply for the blending mode. Okay, so select the image frame at the top right of page one and edit and copy it. Scroll down to page two and edit paste, expanding the picture frame to fill the whole page 
and scaling the image inside to fit it. Then select the navy rectangle on page one and copy it and paste it onto page two. Select the orange shape on the central section of page one and copy that as well, pasting onto page two. Resize it so it fits across the whole of the left-hand section of the trifold brochure. Paste again, moving the orange shape over to the right-hand section and scaling it to fill the lower two-thirds of the section. Then unlock the top layer, text. Select the frame text tool and drag across the bottom of the far right section of page one, using the margin guides to position the frame. Type in the brochure title and from the character and paragraph panels, set the font to Mondia, size 52 points and a line center, and set the font color to off-white. Add a subtitle below the heading, set in CA Sagon text, size 10 points. Over the blue shape, create another text frame for a subheading, setting the font to Mondia, size 20 points and a line left. From the typography panel, you can check the all caps icon as well. Create a larger text frame below this for body text and set the font of this to CA Sagon text, size 10 points. Add a pull quote above, set in Mondia, size 19, 19 points and a line right. The white space at the top of the left hand section is a really good place for contact details on your brochure. For this set the subtitles in Mondia, 20 points and a navy font colour. Body text can be CA Sagon text set at a smaller 10 point size. Select the subheading and body text frame on the central section of page one and copy them. Okay, so scroll down to page two and paste. And you can also add more pull quotes or reviews at the top of the right hand section on page two as well. If you want to add a logo to the front cover of your trifold brochure, you can unlock the images and color layer and extend the right edge of the orange shape at the top of page one, hitting about halfway across the right hand section. And there you can either file place a logo or even create an icon using the shape tools in Affinity Publisher, such as the ellipse tool. When you finish working on your brochure, it's time to export your artwork as a PDF ready for sending to print. So make sure to file save your work and then head back up to the file menu and click export. In the window that opens, choose PDF from the icon options at the top and select PDF press ready from the preset menu. Make sure the raster DPI is set to 300 and that the include bleed box is checked. Then click export. Name your file, select a folder to save it into and then hit save. And you can send the exported PDF straight off to the printers. Awesome work. Your trifold brochure template is finished. Great job. In this tutorial, you've picked up a really wide range of skills and techniques for creating Affinity Publisher brochure templates. If you want to compare your design with my own, make sure to download the completed trifold brochure template. It's also available as an InDesign template. It's also quick and easy to customize your design further by swapping in different color swatches, different fonts and images. For this design, I've used a yellow color palette and different images for a more corporate look, for example. My name is Grace and thanks again for joining me for this Envato Tuts Plus tutorial. I hope you've picked up some useful and handy skills.